Hey everybody, we've got a great show this week with a hip-hop theme throughout. We sit down with Kevy and Lewis. This is episode 57 of In It To Spin It with Fake Shark, Real Zombie. <laughs> Been waiting a long time to see Echo and the Bunnymen, August 5th, Commodore Ballroom, the wait is over. Love this band, really excited to see this. Check these guys out, they've got a great catalog of fun tunes. So that was Mono Myth at the Waldorf. They are the newest band to sign to Mint Records. Pretty exciting stuff for them, I'd imagine. I've only seen them once. They were pretty good, though, opening for Apollo Ghosts uh, on a bill with Dog Day. Their new album and their first for Mint will be out July 22nd. Saturnalia Regalia. Should be interesting. Congrats, guys. So last week we had Nick Diamonds on the show. We were chatting after that interview ended while I was admiring some hip-hop vinyl. Have a look at a cool KRS-One story. Oh, do you like hip-hop? I do, yeah. And I met KRS-One oh, uh, boy. at a rap fest in uh, outside of LA that I played. Nice. And he told me some good advice. There wasn't many people there. And he said, 10 or 10,000, they gotta get rocked. Say it again? He said, um, we were kind of bummed. I was playing with my friend LP, who's a rapper and producer and yeah. KRS was up after us and we were all very excited to meet him Yeah, and uh, he asked how it was out there and we said it was a little light attendance wise and he said 10 or 10,000 they gotta get rocked nice that was cool yeah the teacher always yeah. teaching yeah. so at one point I was a gigantic Boogie Down Productions KRS fan had pretty much everything he ever released I was just eBaying this stuff like crazy Love the vibe, love the intellect, love the conscious hip-hop. Always thought KRS was one of the best ever. So I was super thrilled to get to see a show. He hadn't been to uh, Vancouver since 1993. Got to see him at Fortune a couple years back. Fantastic night. See, it's not about what's outside of me. The question is, what can you do without the use of technology? Right now, you can film me and watch it again and again. But hip hop is a human skill. I don't need to plug in. So I'm really glad to have seen KRS. I ninja these two tennis balls he had signed on stage. They threw them off. There was no way I wasn't catching them. I've been lucky enough to tick off a lot of truly iconic pillars of the hip hop community over the years. And I was thinking there aren't many hip hop guys I would go to see. Big Daddy Kane comes to mind, I'd see, but I've been really lucky and topping it off with KRS and Rakim, my hip hop concert days are pretty much over. So I met up with Kevy and Lewis out back at the Rio Theater. I love being able to give fans a voice, so I got a couple questions from the hardcores waiting in line. This was a fun one. These guys are great. Enjoy the interview. Three action. Yeah. Okay. Hey, everybody out there. We are in Vancouver. Glad to be outside the Rio Theater with Kevy and Lewis of Fake Shark Real Zombies. Say hi to everybody out there, guys. Hi, hi everybody, everybody out there, guys. Nice. Hey. Um, exciting night. Tour ending. Homecoming show. Right. Um, yeah. The tour is in support of Don't Forget, which is uh, kind of two albums mashed into one. Uh, earlier, Zebra Zebra and uh, Meeting People is Terrible, right? That's you correct. got it. Okay, how's the tour been? Uh, long journey home? Been treating you well, the road? Oh man, any this tour has been awesome. Yeah, yeah, any road stories? Any There's crazy lots. happenings? I don't yeah. want to embarrass uh, okay. Tony though, <laughs> but uh, yeah. Been decadent. Nice. Okay. In, in decadent in only a way playing for 14 year olds every night could really be. Yeah. <laughs> it's 
saw the lineup out there. <laughs> and uh, the upcoming fan questions may be reflective of that. Okay, we'll save that for later. Um, Kevy, you're an extremely talented bi and busy individual. Oh, you. Lots of uh, credits in there. Programmer, vocalist, writer, instrumentalist. You've scored films, producer. It's all pretty impressive. Uh, the band uh, blends sort of catchy pop harmonies and your vocal delivery is at time uh, that of uh, rhyming, rapping which I like that you're wearing that shirt because my first question, I know you've got a decent rap background. Um, give me your top five MCs of all time. Oh, finally a good question. <laughs> Boom. Really, really, really. You're not going to ask me what superhero I was? <laughs> no. Uh, oh, man, okay. It was tough. I, I really like this. I'm going to take my time. Most Death, okay. but only on Black on Both Sides, which is his first solo yeah. record. The close-up uh, face. Right? Yeah, Cover. absolutely. Yeah. It's a perfect record. Um, I'm a big Chuck D fan, uh, more more for his vo voice and vocal delivery yeah. and his live presence. He does a lot of lightsaber moves when we saw Public Enemy. <laughs> so that was yeah. good. Um, Bus Driver, which is an underground indie hip hop MC who's at Oakland and he's performing right now. Okay. Um, there's a really weird rapper named Dose One who's like a big influence on me. Okay. He's also an Oakland guy. He's pretty weird. And then Bay as far area. far as uh, like a more another more mainstream one. I pick. Um, hmm. Who do I listen to a lot? Huh? KRS, Rock Him, Danny Brown. Danny Brown. Danny. I, I can't believe that took me so long. <laughs> Danny Brown's my man. We're supposed to work on a song together. In okay. Too, but his his new album is it's called Old, and it's like we listen to it. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Love it. Okay. Yeah. No, that's cool. You guys uh, have got the hip hop influence. Okay, so you guys had a great opportunity last summer-ish, I believe it was, to play in China with fellow uh, Vancouver band War Baby. Hell yeah, uh, I love War Baby. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, cool. I'm glad you guys are fans. Um, yeah. Tell us how that you guys got linked up in that, and tell us about the experience of playing to that sort of fan base. Uh, it was really cool. Like I got, I uh, had a chance to go with another band called Hot Hot Heat a couple of years ago. Oh yeah. And I made really called good... who? Hot Hot Heat. Oh! <laughs> I came and, prepared. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, we just played one show in Beijing, and I managed to uh, gain a great rapport with the concert promoter at yeah. the time. And then he came to Vancouver, he loved our band, he fell in love with us, he's got a great personality. And then he came to Toronto and saw us, and then was like, gotta get you guys to yes. China. And so as far as our experience in China, there um. are uh, <laughs> a whole interview's worth of stories we could go into, yeah, okay. but that was how we got over yeah, there. I've seen it some was, of the War Baby pictures, it's, it's yeah, pretty Yeah, it was fantastic. just sort of like, I went to him, he came to us, and then we just kept talking and talking yeah. and talking, and he's like... I got food poisoning. Oh, nice. Yeah. Water or actual food? <laughs> uh, well, I don't know, because we don't know what the fuck we were eating. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, we ate a that lot of it. That was always fun. I've been nice. a lot. It's <laughs> true, it's true. Uh, but I, I was I'm a cockroach. My, I was brushing my teeth with the water. Yeah. Maybe that's the that problem. I might have done it. Yeah. But I, I did shake and uh, cry in bed for like three days. Yeah. Food poisoning is nothing it's to... It's killing uh, our vibe on tour. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, people don't like that yeah. on stage. Yeah, no. Okay, uh, let's get into the Hot Hot Heat. One of my favorite songs of your guys is this Girls featuring frontman Steve Bays. Um, great video, great song. If uh, any new member or new fans, potential fans are out there, you can check out the video here. We'll link it. Um, uh, take a second and uh, tell us how the whole uh, Steve Bays Hot Hot Heat thing got connected, because I know bass player used to play with you guys right yeah Boston, our, yeah. yeah Parker uh, our old bass player played in Hot at Heat yeah and then he quit and then I played in Hot at Heat oh yeah and then so I played with them for like a year and a half and nice then you did the Weezer we are, tour yeah, yeah I guess tour with Weezer who cool, my favorite man. band but nice. not to go off on a tangent no that's we cool. met uh, I like stories. that's kind of how we became really good friends with Steve and then yeah. me and Kevin both became great friends with Steve and yeah. we did a little tour with Hot at Heat uh, as well. Yeah, even before this. Oh, yeah, really? It probably, yeah. probably started even before this, around 2009. Okay. We yeah. did a tour with Hot Out Heat. Because we, we released our second record, Many People is Terrible, but we never really released it because we were having manager problems and yeah. stuff. But the only real tour we did for that record was with this car. <laughs> the only real tour we did for that record was with Hot Out Heat and a band uh, called The Good News. Okay. We're from Vancouver, no longer a band. Nice. Okay, yeah. well, speaking of bands from Vancouver, who are you currently liking, currently liking in the scene here? White Long. We, White we love Long. White Long. White Just Long. announced new album yeah, coming out. Domino yeah, Domino Records. Yeah, Domino. That's so great. fucking crazy. Huge. Great. Like, That's yeah. awesome. It's funny, because you talk about Mish, the singer, like, 
Yeah. Here she is right here. Oh, there she is, yeah. new car. <laughs> yeah. That's Domino Records yeah, right there. Yeah, that's Domino money right there. That's yeah. Test Icicles money right there. Uh, we, we used to see the singer Mish yeah. because she was the door person at the Pat's Pub. Oh, yeah. And I was like, girl's always mad. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're friends with her. See, She's... I bought the White Lung record, I think, Sorry, right? Yeah. I yeah. couldn't get into I mean, I like a bunch of songs, but to me, I just couldn't get into it as much as everyone else loved oh, it. Yeah. So I'm curious about the Domino Records when it should be good. I wonder if it'll be as fast because yeah. that whole record's pretty fast. Yeah. yeah. I like guitar playing on it. I love her voice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we love that. I like glue. Yeah, Sun yeah. Blues killer. We love War Baby. Um, yeah. I like a lot of rappers in Vancouver. Like, there's a guy named Copacetic who I saw with Cool Keith, and I thought he's really good. He's up and coming. You ever go to any of the King of the Dot Vancouver stuff? No, I haven't. Yeah, I want to go. I want to go to that too. I, I want to go to hip hop karaoke. Yeah. Uh, my friend Kaboom Atomic. He's he's like really talented. I really like him. I want to do the whole uh, They Want Effects by Das Effects. Oh yeah, I do the whole effects. song. The whole song. Okay, well, there's fans waiting outside right now. We've uh, I talked to three of them. Let's get into uh, this now. Do you guys like sushi? Oh, this is from Bell, by the way. <laughs> okay. Do you like sushi? I like All sushi right, no. now that there's been that problem with radiation in Japan. So I like it now that it has 100% more radiation. Yeah, yeah the, like low. Eating that. the mercury content yeah, has gone up. I like that. Okay. It helps my superpower. I also like that sushi now is about 50% mayo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the have... Vancouver sushi is. <laughs> yeah, the mayo, mayo content, content goes up I'll every have the year. Have Hellman's roll. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hellman's roll. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, Kayla, this doesn't really apply, but she wants to know how your hair is so perfect. <laughs> well, that is actually the question I get asked more than any other question. Is the key it? Key is barely wash it and bleach it until it's fried. Okay, nice. And That's finally, from, uh, yeah, salon professionals recommend yeah. that. Yeah. And then every time you walk past a barber shop. Someone will be like, hey, I can fix that for you. Or someone, you know, you know what I hate hairstylists? Because any every hairstylist hates every other hairstylist's yeah. work and thinks they can do a better job. It's a doggy we'll dog tell world you that. out there of hair in the hairstyle yeah. world. Yeah, you can't give props to anyone else. Man. What's your and hairstylist voice for who did your hair? Um, who's, who did that? Did you do that? <laughs> did Judy do that on fourth? She sucks. I'd do a better job. Uh, finally, Aaron from Vancouver. Aaron out there wants to know, are you single? <laughs> Yes. Yes. Okay. Aaron's dreams have come true. All 14. She didn't ago. ask me. Okay. Uh, no comment. Yeah. Are you single? No comment. Lewis, no comment. <laughs> He's dating me. So your latest offering is the 2014 Liar EP, I believe. Is that true? Right. Uh, it came. Well, it came out in Canada last year, and it just came out in the states this week. Yeah. So it's your first sort of foray or foray, yeah. foray into America. US yeah. So this week's been lots of interviews them and we're trying to do a tour out there as okay. well. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I spent a lot of time out there too so it'll be it'll be fun and good to get back. Okay. Um, well Paint It Gold was huge off flyer here. Um, it was a great single Thank for you, you guys. Uh, what does the future hold um, aside from the EP in the States? Can we think LP again? Or? We're all we're yeah, already right in the next yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. We're so already it, like four songs deep in nice. the new album. Does it have so. a title? Not yet. It's weird. Liar, I actually had the title before there was even a song. Really? Yeah. I just like that. I just felt like it would look good as Gummy Bears. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> I just thought that would look cool. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, we don't have a title yet, but we've got a direction and a production style and a tone okay. yeah. sort of laid down. So we're excited to keep working on that one. Awesome. Totally. I'm sure everyone is excited to hear what comes out of that, too. Yeah, man. Okay. Well, that wraps it up. Thank All you, right. guys. All right. Yes, and nice uh, Kevin. Thanks, Brandon. Good interview. Good. Thanks. Thanks. That's it.